we uh, ordered some parts from Ego. So let's see what we got. We should have some cool stuff in here. I love your videos, they're so cool. Awesome, yay, thank <laughs> it you. It keeps me going in between trips. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I would say, next up, 3RWI. That's what's going in now. Danny and I are going to install the injectors and the wastegate actuator. We're gonna do that right now, inside here, right there. And so we'll show you that process, and then when we're done with that process, we're gonna be going and doing some uh, more zero to, zero to 60 to see what that looks like. So from my understanding, from my understanding, you pinch this, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And pull the and pull the connection out of the fuel rail. You want fuel gonna come out? Hmm. Fuel gonna come out? I'd say there's a chance. So you like messy making messes? I do. I take it. I'm gonna sucker in and doing the work this time. He catches on quick. Camera likes you better though. Well, whatever. I'll point it at myself every once in a while, so that makes you happy. Okay. Trying to get a shot here. Danny's hands are in the way. Ooh. Looks easier than it is, huh? Uh, I'm gonna be probably gun shy on doing this because. Yeah? Here. It's Hold not this. my uh, Hold that. deal to break. It's gonna break, it's gonna break. Well, brace, we're not gonna be able to do the zero, the zero to six. If uh, we don't get the injectors in, we're not going to be able to do the zero to sixties. Eh, cup half full. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holy Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. I just can't get my head in there is the problem. Am I squeezing on the right part? You said you were. I think so. We're just not using the right technique. Probably not. People who do it all the time, probably. Oh, that could break it, though. What happened? Mm. I think it's... I'm just glad you're doing it, not me. Oh, there goes the fuel. Okay. We dumped a little bit of fuel. Alright. Alright, let's do this. I did the hard part. There's a T30 right there on, down there next to your feet. You want to pull that fuel rail out? I know you do. No. Because I want to take these clips off first. Good point. Those push in. Those do exactly what you're saying. Doing. Good job. And by pull the fuel rail out, I meant disconnect as well. That was my shield, honest. So it turns out what really happened, I was pushing on those plastic pieces hard enough. It's just you gotta pull that whole piece. You gotta pull that connector out. You gotta really tug on it. You gotta really tug on that connector. See that blue O-ring was probably, probably stuck in there pretty good. It's like my door, you can't see in there. So you, what, you got two of them? We'll come back because what's the point of watching something you can't see? Never use power tools in gas fumes. <sighs> I was kidding. I was going to use it. I wouldn't. You because wouldn't? I'm afraid of crap like that. You are? That's smart. I have a ratchet if you would like one. Well, here goes everything. Oh yeah, look at that. So what we got, three T30s, pull that whole uh, fuel rail off. Nice be a little, uh, okay, like I get it. I got the hint. <laughs> Here we go. He wants this. 
He brought it over for us to use, and so if we don't use it. I didn't see that. Now keep in mind these are stainless steel, so they don't actually stick in there. Oh, it says Danny right on the side. It doesn't even say Dandy. Danny. That can be changed. Yeah. Get an engraver. All right. Pulling out bolt number three. So he's gonna pull out that third bolt right there. Two. Bolt number I was two. Say it would. You know what? You know I just noticed these are the exact same bolts that hold on the, aren't they? Clutch cover? It looked like it. Thought that was a 27. Now there's three? I don't know. You said there's three. I know, but I mean, I, I'm i thinking three because there's three injectors. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Are they only on one side? <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Fuel rail is coming out. Here it comes. Oh yeah, there it is, the fuel rail. So we'll pull out those injectors, we'll clean this up a little bit so we don't get uh, dirt inside of anything or dirt inside the new injectors. And we need to clean out those ports a little because they got dirt around them. And from what I understand, you can look at these and if they are five holes of the smaller ones and the bigger Evo ones have seven little holes in there. Okay, so we got the the fuel rail out, right? Yep. Uh, where's that guy at? Right here. A little dirty. We got the fuel piece. rail out right there. And we're going to clean that up. And to be able to finish this project, we need some parts, right? Yes, we do. We need the... Uh, something I heard was, might be in there. This? Yes, oh, yeah. Sir. yeah. <laughs> this. All right, let's check this out because this is cool. Well, let's open this up. We uh, ordered some parts from Evo. So let's see what we got. We should have some cool stuff in here. Okay, so Ooh. what do we got? Well, look at this. Exactly what we needed. Isn't that weird? Injectors. See, you got all those nice parts in there. Where did my eyes go to? They went straight to the hats. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is part of the clutch tools. We'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, and this is the other thing we need. So we are getting ready to go 3WRI. So that is wastegate adjustment. Uh, 3WR is uh, wastegate replacement. And I is injectors. So here's all of our parts. We will put this in and adjust it. That covers it. This covers it so we have all the parts to do the three rwi we already did the three r we installed the tune we ran the car zero to 60s we showed you that yes but we're going up from there so we're doing all evo all the way up to big turbo i've said it a hundred times i'm going to keep saying it anyway but look what's up look what else is these are amazing right jelly those are sick hats Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get crazy. All right, we'll come back to this. <laughs> oh, I see stickers too. We have something. Oh, yeah. And uh, there's a little nut that took off right here. It must have came off that wastegate actuator. Don't lose your nuts. Yeah, we don't want to lose our nuts. So let's put the nuts back on. All right, we'll set that aside. Let's take a look what, at what else is in here. Oh, look at this. Bam. Look at these. A whole bunch of decals. So we gotta figure out we gotta figure out where these go. That's look a whole bunch this. of just sticky stuff. Look at this. Oh, these look very familiar. I'm pretty sure this is what's on the back of Beast Mode, like right back in this area. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Hmm. Yeah. Go check it out. I think that's what it is. Right off of Beast Mode. Flip this over and open this guy up. And Looks heavy. Show you what's in here. This is something else we ordered, and this is gonna. This is going forward for a few things. Uh, Danny has some clutch spring adjustments he wants to make, so we need to open up his clutch. Uh, we are going to be putting Evo clutch in our car, and of course, we want to uh, 
if we're going to put the big turbo in, we want to put the clutching in that they say is best for that turbo because they've done the work, the dyno work. They have all the R and R, the research, the R and D, R and R, the R and D. So let's check this out real quick. Oh, wow, that's glass right there. But look at these tools. <laughs> I mean, this is some cool stuff. Look at that. Uh, I'm not going to go into how all this works right now. That will be in another video coming up. We already have one of, the, one of these guys, but now we have another one. It's fair. So, yeah. All the cool different kinds of stuff. So, that's it. That's what's in the box. We got the stuff we need. We have the other stuff that we will need going forward. Um, can't wait to check it all out. Look at that. That is like when you're, so when you're doing a uh, spring and a primary, uh, you put this, I think, with some washers on the bottom. You spin this down. This holds that uh, little spring cup in place. You take the bolts out, and then you unthread this so that the spring doesn't pop up and rip your face off your body. All right, so we're going to put this stuff away and get back to the project at hand. This is just kind of a cool little bit. It's kind of hot in here, so I kind of have enough of this. So we're going to put this box of awesomeness away and we're going to bust out these parts, set these stickers aside, all these clutch tools aside, those, look at those, that's a nice hat. So, Alright, here's what we need for our project. So we're going to come back because we're going to clean this up. And we're not going to make you watch that. Plus, we want to turn the air conditioning on. Danny does. He's crying back there. He's <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. All right, we'll be back. All right, here we go. We uh, cleaned this fuel rail up. Uh, got all that loose dirt, dust, grime off of it. And we're going to pop these uh, little clips loose. I think this is the way you do it. I think these actually... Um, Pop them loose up here and they come back, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Push them back. Oh, yeah. I like how you're asking me like I know. You know. All right. Click. No, I was. Right, so there's a little dirt hidden inside there, but it's okay. So we're going to work this one out without destroying it. We probably won't put them back in anytime soon, but just in case, we don't want to break anything. All right? That is correct. They are in there. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's one. Let's pull out the rest here. Patience. One step at a time. Man. Hold on. All we're going to do to survive that one. Um, it happens. There we go. I survived, it just stayed in there. Didn't want to come out peacefully. Right. It's back where it belongs to its home. Here's all the, the old injectors. All right? Let's pull out the, the new ones. Uh oh, don't mix them up. Don't get them out of order. Don't mix them up. Look at how don't nice and pretty those look. Okay, let's flip on this light for a minute. Let's see if we can actually see this, right? So these, I think, have five holes in them. Is that right? Can you see that? Um, uh, maybe. Maybe? We'll try well, to zoom I'm in. I'm halfway blind, so. Halfway? <laughs> no, that's better than fully. <laughs> Alright. Let's Partially take blind. a look and see if we can tell. Yeah, I can tell you right off the bat without even counting them. That's seven. Just by the pattern. Yeah. Alright, so these are the new ones. We're going to put some of our dialectic grease on. And we're going to do this. Are you ready? Mm-hmm bit of our dialectic grease after we cut out the little section of video that we just recorded. <laughs> Stop doing that! You did it again! <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'm too tired. Okay, so here are here's our new injectors. We showed you the tips. These have seven holes. Those have five. We're gonna put a little bit of this dialectic grease, just a drop, just a drop. And we're gonna put it right here on this brown. Nope. We're gonna put it down <laughs> here where it belongs, in the right location, All right? And then we're gonna see if we can work that thing in. Should go right in because I'll get it up. Which way did the connectors point? 
Danny Leviston. This way. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Those went right in like butter. That way? The other way. This way? Because the bolts went in here. Okay. You took it out. I don't know. Bolts went in here. Plug. It went like that. Like that? Yes, just like that. Because uh, the plug's plugged in except here. Except that the thing goes on the driver's side. Do you, how about this? Do we put this in first? Is that a possibility? Is it possible that that's how it's supposed to go? Boom! I feel like it is. I feel like it is too. If especially not, as that is the way it goes now. <laughs> if that's not how it's supposed to go, um, yeah, this way's we going just now. decided that we're doing it that way anyway. So, okay, yeah, so fuel row goes back in like that, wire is to punch the D up. All right, so we're going to do the rest of these real quick. I didn't hear a good snap on that one. No, the clip popped out of the o ring, still looks good, still has some dielectric on it. All right, here we go. This one's being a little bit uncooperative. All right, but it's on. Yep, it's on. All right. Injectors, Evo injectors installed in the fuel rail. We're gonna put this back on right now, uh, and then we will move on to this guy right here. Whatever you call this, wastegate actuator majigger. All right, Danny, what are you doing now? We are getting ready to put this in the hole over here. All right, so we got the injectors on the fuel rail. Danny is reinstalling now. It's hard to get in there. It's hard to get a shot. It's hard to get the shot without taking the exhaust off or something like that. But inside there somewhere is Danny pushing the fuel rail, fuel rail back into place. And then what's going to happen after that is that uh, connector, the fuel connector is going to go back on. I felt like it went in way too easy. Huh? Well, since we pull the other one out, it was dry. Well, it's got, um, I mean, For the screws? it has O-rings on it, so, right? Right. All right, so, all right, so it looks like there's two T-30s that hold this whole configuration in, right? You know, like the, it's like a plastic thread in there, so you, I don't think you want to try to over-tighten them or anything, because it's just a few fuel, fuel rail, it's just there uh -huh. to hold it. Yeah, if you turn it too far and it keeps spinning. You strip it, you're screwed, yeah. literally. <laughs> All right, so Danny's gonna put those in right now. And then I think we should at least start it up to make sure we don't spew oil. No. Deal. We gotta plug, it in, plug in the injectors then we can start it. Ridiculous. <laughs> I just wanna make sure before Brandy and I go to put the tune in later that we don't experience any boo-boos. Any boo-boos. Like feel leaking all over the ground. So those torque down to precisely uh, factory percent. <laughs> to what? Factory percent. Okay. Factory percent. Percent of factory. 100% of factory torque. No. Starts within minus 47 plus minus. Oh yeah, that was it. They don't leave you a lot of room to work there now, no, do they? they this middle one's going to be a pain. All right. We're going to come back because there's not, it's, you can't see in there. I can't even see in there. We'll be back. Okay, we had to flip the air on because it got warm. Danny's having some difficulties. The, the one in the back. The two in the back. The two? Oh my God, two. We're just trying to start this thing and Danny's like, I don't know what he's doing over here. Trying to plug these connectors in. Apparently, they're a little bit difficult to get to. I'm glad I'm not doing it. Okay, so we are in the final stages of final stages of assembly for the injector install. Oh, did you hear that click? That was a nice positive connection. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. We can actually fire this thing up and make sure we don't have any leaks. I wonder if it's going to be super rich. Uh, we don't care. We need to know before tonight if we have uh, leaks. All right, we're gonna fire this thing up, right? No. We got noise. 
right, let's do this. I didn't make a noise. We want to make sure that we don't have any kind of leaks, so we're just gonna fire it up and take a look, right? Cycle a couple times and then try and engage. All right. Uh, here it is. I would guess that if the fuel pump, I would guess that if the fuel pump's running and we're not spewing out fuel, we'll probably be okay. But we're gonna fire it up anyway, just because that's how we are. Fire it up when we shouldn't fire it up because it's on the wrong tune with the wrong injectors. You ready? Clear. Oh yeah, she's rich. She's rich. She's very, 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 very rich. We gotta open this. Very rich. So we probably don't want to do that again. Just maybe one more time. Yeah, too rich to run. That's what we wanted. That's what we expected. We don't see any fuel leaking anywhere. All right. Yeah, too rich to run until it's tuned. No fuel leak. I held a lighter to it. Nothing. Nothing. Cut on fire. So there we go. Should be good. It's the lighter test. You should always, always. You should always not do the lighter test. I'm just Never gonna say right now. All right, we're gonna move on to this guy. We're gonna put this piece in, and then. In a little while, when Brandy's back, we'll throw the tune in and we'll fire this thing up and see what we got. Okay, so now we're gonna do the wastegate actuator. Is that right, Mr. Danny? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's pop this. Oh my. Wow, that thing's really stuck in there. That comes off. Yeah, it does now. I just broke it. Now what we gotta do, I just. You got a hose this. clamp? A hose? Hose clamp? Uh -uh. Does this it come with a hose clamp? This one's adjustable. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I adjusted it earlier. So we just had that off because we we were using we were because we were using the mighty vac to uh, vacuum out the car. I don't know. No, we were moving <laughs> using the mighty vac to set the crack pressure. So we just had I what I did is I actually uh I just made some adjustments on that. I can see that. And now it's pretty tight, but not you know. It's not too tight to come off, but not tight enough to loosen up and come off or something. Anyway, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna un unplug the pumper for a minute because this cable runs right in front of everything that we need that's good, known to man. I don't understand why we have this extra connection, dude. Anyway, so what do we gotta do? We got, what do we got, a 10 and a 10 and a, yeah. Chicken dinners. And a screwdriver. That clip can be a pain in the butt. Pick what I'm gonna do. Yesterday, I bought the most amazing WD-40 ever known to man. Look, I'm gonna spray myself hey. all in all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give me some light in here. Just gonna put this is just got. I know this is gonna make a mess or later. Smoke. So for any anyone that hasn't done this, what we're getting ready to do, we're getting ready to do is swap out the wastegate actuator, and we need to pull this little clip that keeps that keeps your arm attached to the wastegate. Right there. Um, otherwise this will pop off, right? Yeah. But this clip, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you're not careful, we'll get away from you and it will shoot into the neighbor's backyard into the pool. Can't remind. Without you even realizing it's gone. So you have to be really careful like that. And you have to pop this off. You have to, then you have to pop this off. Then we gotta go find. I wanna say it's a 10. I'll be back I say with it's a, a 10. What's that? I say it's a 10. I'll be back with a 10. Do you have to take that off? We can't just take these bolts out and just slide out. Is there enough room for it? Oh, well, you know. No, I don't think there's enough room. It'll be that, pretty I damn close. I think you're right. I think it's a 10 anyway, right? Yep. We'll be back with the 10. Be right back. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the other one out and compare it real quick. Just for funds. Just because we have no funds. We just bought all this stuff. Should go the right way.
All right, well now what we're gonna see is a piece of room. Oh yeah. Oh, plenty of not room. <laughs> Unless there's another option. I might have just seen it. Do it straight down that way. Or not. Well. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. We got that guy out. All right. Let's compare. So you know the arm and stuff. All that's the same. Um. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what's different. The port. Is that it? Ouch. Yeah, they look very similar. I really don't know what the difference is. They have, uh, this one has some of this kind of writing that's uh, really smaller than most people can read. And this one has some of this kind of writing on it that's probably BRP specific, like a code. But this one does, is, is it an optical illusion or is, no, it's not. They're the same size, right? I don't know the difference. Maybe it's probably the internal spring or something like that, right? I think so. Okay. So, we'll, all right. So we're going to pop this guy back in and pop the new one in. Wow, that arm's, like the end of that arm's a little bigger. I don't know that this is the recommended installation procedure uh, i'm sure that there are instructions online evo is very good about uh providing all kinds of good instructions and support and all that good stuff we were able to get our tune within minutes um but i didn't look to be honest with you so sometimes that's the way the ball bouncing sometimes that's just the way i do it i don't really look and make an effort to find out how to do it correctly the first time because I mean why would you want to do that where's the fun whoa okay all right I have no idea I probably this was probably already preset like adjusted where it needed to be and I probably just tweaked it completely out of adjustment and that's probably not true real quick this is what we're gonna do did you want to put that little uh cheaters on which one no we gotta set the crack pressure all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna fire this guy up turn that light off and we're gonna look at the specs because we are going to be going to a and right here it's going to tell you exactly what you need so required components 18 turbo r fuel pump we have aftermarket exhaust forward slash cap bypass we have 93 octane oh, we got to go get some uh, octane boost is what we're using for tomorrow tonight uh, EVP big injectors we just put in uh, EVP wastegate actuator set to eight pounds okay so recommended clutch shift we're probably in the ballpark 30 amp fuse we haven't done yet that's just because the reason for this is because the intercooler runs a lot more we could actually hear it when we were doing the 0 to 60 on the 3R same thing for that too Rev limits 9,000. All right, so we're not gonna program, we're not gonna do that just yet. We're saving that for a special moment. We'll be back. All right, so we got the new actuator in. Um, we got this thing, it's pretty cool. Mighty back. So we're gonna pop this hose on. It's pretty mighty. It's pretty mighty. And we're gonna see where we're at. So we're gonna pump this up and we're gonna keep an eye on that arm and see when it starts to move. Wow. Yeah, we might have to back that off a little bit. I think we were close to 10. Yeah, over 10. Let's pull this arm back off. Wow. There we go. Okay. So I think we need to go, what, in, right? 
are out. Out. Right? Danny, how can you look at me like that? All right, let's see what that does. We're just experimenting because we have no idea. Okay, it started to move, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we went too far. Yeah. We're pretty much dead on. So we're gonna tighten this up. We're gonna put the clip back on. That's the fun part. Ready for that? Clip's gonna go back on. Which is always fun. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Mm -mm. So clip's on. Tighten that nut. I tighten that jam nut and we're done. And then we just well, put that line back on and all right, we're done. We're oh, done. Really? That means we can start it? Absolutely, ready? Should we open the garage door? Too rich. We gotta do tunes. Alright. Okay, so um we just finished up, me and Danny just finished up installation of the injectors in the wastegate actuator. Mm -hmm. uh, here, turn on some light. Let me see that. Oh, that's not it. That's because we kind of got ahead of ourselves. We kind of got ahead of ourselves uh, because it's the weekend. Uh, California doesn't have 93 at the pump, so we can't run 93 until we mix 93. Um, so what are we doing? We're making a real world video of the kind of stuff that happens in real life. We are going to um, take the stuff off and go back to the 3RI so that we can run the car for some 0 to 60s. Yep. And good news is I already did. Look, I put the OEM actuator back on already. He's so fast. Um, but we do have the injectors. So we have big what? injectors from Evo what? back to OEM actuator. OEM actuator, big injectors, full exhaust from Evo. We are on the 3 RI tune with 91 octane because that's what we have available to us. Did you change the fuse? I did not. We need a 30 amp fuse, but that's going to happen. And we also did adjust the crack pressure to 8 PSI, which it was already there. So we're good. Yep. So, and then as soon as we get uh, some fuel, which we're going to get, I don't know, tomorrow or Monday, right. we will uh, make some jumps and do some more tunes. But this is kind of cool because now we're going to go uh, 3R, 3RI, then 3WRI. And so forth. And, and really, that's the way it should have gone all along. We yes. gotta go all the. We gotta go up stages. Yep. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna connect this guy. That's, want me to hold that for you? Yeah. So if anyone if anyone knows a way that we can turn this on and off without having to unplug it and plug it in each time, that would be awesome. Do you, does somebody have like a switch or some kind of a weird invention, like where it's all hooked up to? If I figure it out. Come on, guys, help us out. All right. So we're gonna go program, and we're going to select. Uh, where to go? Uh, three. All right, right there. Three R I. Hang on. Oops, wrong one. Three R I. Don't mess me up. Okay. And then you're gonna hit next. Well, oh, this is all fogged up. I'm. This is steady. I'm a professional. All right. So three R I. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go to. Um, here's all the requirements. So let's see. Required components. O E M. 18 turbo. turbo R fuel pump. We have that. Aftermarket exhaust cat delete bypass. We have that. 91 octane fuel. We already had that. We still have that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, EVP big injectors, 18 fuel pump. We have that. OEM wastegate actuator. I put that back on. It is set to 8 PSI. Recommended uh, clutch. The clutch settings are probably at least in the ballpark. Yeah. So we're going to, let's do this. Ready? We got to turn the car on. Totally ready. Turn it on. Key on, not all the way on. Yep. Download. Download that tune. So let's yes. see. And there's no fireworks, guys. We found out there are fireworks. So Evo, maybe like something on the screen that goes, ba, 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 you know, just do that. All right. So this takes a minute. So we're going to turn on the air and we'll come back. We're going to do this because I get hot real fast. Bye. What's the word, bird? Are you ready for the fireworks? Pew, 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 <coughs> pew, pew. We didn't get any last time. I, don't, I suspect we won't this time. I either. suspect it could be different. Ready? Yeah. Fireworks. Huh? You're about to insert some. Okay. Okay. Woo! That was awesome. <laughs> that was so awesome. Okay, anyways, go on. I guess we should see if it runs now. Let's go to monitoring. Do, 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 do. Is that I Dream of Genie? Dang it, why does that keep happening to me? Here we go. Monitor. 
Oh, look at that monitor. All right, it's fired up. It got a little rich earlier. Did it? Well, I fired it up at the wrong tune in the wrong parts. What happens if I go to work one day? I fired it up. Uh, injectors on the 3R. Big injectors 3R. You know what? These kind of things can happen. We're testing it out to see what happens. Don't do it, but if you do do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I did. I said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
So guys, you guys are awesome. I love this. I, I gotta adjust it for my head size, but you know, it's gonna yeah, be pretty tight in a minute. Those hats are amazing. They are, thank you. Uh, yeah. Hats. You guys have been awesome to deal with. Uh, so professional, so quick. Uh, so far, we are loving this. Can't wait to hook up and cap razor and see where we're at then. We'll be, by then we'll be storming the desert. That's Operation Storm the Desert. That's that what we'll be. Operation Storm the Desert. Yeah, so until then, you guys, subscribe. Give us some thumbs up. We love the thumbs up. It does help us. Um, if you don't like what we're doing, hit the dislike button two times and we'll know and we will stop doing it immediately. Promise. Um, we also have Patreon. So if you're so inclined to join the Cool Kids Club, there's a link below. Do that. We appreciate all of you, especially our guys that are on there right now. Hey, guys. Um, and as always, um, thank you. Like, seriously, seriously, thank you. Couldn't do this without you. So, peace. Peace.